Hey, what's up campers? Here's my review of Total Drama All-Stars Episode 9, Zeke and You Shall Find. I'm sorry that this review is kind of late. Um, I actually had it done a few days ago, but I did not have time to get... I didn't have time or like... Yeah, I didn't have time to make this video. Like, I could get on a computer, but every time someone was at home, it's kind of awkward, so I can make it. So basically, the episode starts off with Alejandro in this uh, suite or whatever uh, hotel, and he um, says that he deserves a good life after winning a competition. I'm pretty sure he already has a good life, you know. He, he has, he's, I guess you could say he's good looking. I don't know. It's kind of weird to say, but whatever. And I don't know if I said this in the last video or not, but I kind of predicted that Chris was going to be living with whoever wins, um, you know, just be because of the fact that Duncan blew up his house or cottage, <laughs> mansion, same thing. It's kind of random, but apparently the room where they watch the show uh, is in the suite, and Alejandro finds it, and he finds informative clips on Mal, and I like this. I, I like this a lot. So I thought um, Mal was going to have the upper hand on Alejandro, but it, it appears that Alejandro has the upper hand. And, you know, we have Mal who's pretending to be Mike. He puts some evidence under Alejandro's bed. Alejandro moves it to his bed, which was actually very good. And plus he has the CD, so I'm guessing this kind of confirms that Alejandro will beat Mal. You know, if they're ever put into a situation where Mal has the upper hand and it's close to voting time, Alejandro can just whip that video out. So my newest final prediction will be Al and Gwen. And I'm guessing Al, uh, Mal might be the, the last he might be the third person to get eliminated like towards the end you know like if they have like a final three it might be Mal um, Alejandro and Gwen and then Cameron finds the photos on his bed and he kinda just storms out as like the new lightning <laughs> he's like I'm the new lightning and Cameron was on the right track but I think he's kinda letting his friendship get in the way of getting the way of his judgment like I think Mike told him that he was having like a bad personality or or Cameron said something about that but you know we have Mal who's pretending to be Mike and Mal isn't like just a bad side he's also smart too so it, it kinda makes it worse for Cameron and um, Zoe and then Scott falls down some sorry Scott falls down some steps and Courtney does too and do accidental kisses actually happen in real life I don't really think that's possible because I feel like if you fell on someone you probably kiss I don't know their chin or something or their forehead it it wouldn't just be so exact where your lips touch and it's like a perfect qu perfect I was about to say quiz a perfect kiss um, pretty sure someone end up with like a bruised lip or someone's tooth to just go into the other person's lip or something something weird like that but so after that he he asked uh, Courtney to be his boyfriend and then to go out with him because apparently he's never asked a girl questions like this and she said yes and I just don't like this relationship. Scott's so dirty. Ugh. Whatever. It's episode 100. Wow. Who would have thought this show would last so long? So Chris gets, he's having like this celebration. And then Chris gets kidnapped by Ezekiel. And when Chef spat his coffee out, <laughs> that would have been the perfect time to add a bleep for a curse word. I don't think they have curse words in this show anymore. But as I said before, it was a little bit more racy in the first season. Um, it was cursing. Uh, two girls were like peeing in the water, you know, like it was an actual island and everything. You know, it they, it was more into it. I guess they were more into it. I guess for season one. You know, I guess they had to turn tone it down afterwards. I don't know if they showed all the episodes of network. I don't know how this act actually goes. But basically, the new challenge is to rescue Chris from the mine, and Scott doesn't know how to be a good boyfriend, and me neither. <laughs> I literally would not know what to do uh, with a girl. I think you're supposed to act extremely nice to them. That's about it. That's not my thing, so probably never going to be in a relationship. Ah, forever alone. And then Zeke, he looks like Roger on American Dad after the plane crash. I don't know if you guys remember that episode, if you've ever seen American Dad or not. And I'm guessing it's a Lord of the Rings parody. He looks like... I'm guessing there's a thing in Lord of the Rings that looks like that. Cause because someone told me that episode of American Dad was a parody of 
Lord of the Rings, so I just assumed that this was a parody of Lord of the Rings, too. Um, I've never seen the series, by the way, if I didn't state that already. So everyone finds their way into the mine except Alejandro, who gets stuck. And holy crap, one of the interns finally talks. I thought the interns didn't talk at all. I thought they just made sounds and reacted, but they never talked. This guy actually talked, which was weird. And Zoe finds Gwen and Mal is trying to get Cameron to split Courtney and Scott up. It's not a bad plan, but his idea kind of sucks. I mean, the idea was to get, um, I think it was to get Cameron to kiss Courtney and then they would break up or something. And then Chris has the biggest guts ever. I don't know if he was just being stupid. Or, I, I don't know. He keeps egging on Ezekiel, and he's having fun doing it. He's, like, talking about, like, what happened to Ezekiel and what he, he's he been doing to Ezekiel. Ezekiel, that name is weird. What, what kind of name is that? Whatever. Uh, um, <laughs> Ezekiel, Ezekiel is just, like, about to kill him. <laughs> and Scott compliments Courtney just like I try to do to girls. So, me and Scott are pretty much the same person. I like your hair, I like your eyes, your face, I like that. They crash into Cameron and Mal, and Mal makes Cameron kiss Courtney, and he turns on her. Well, he, he no, he turns it on her. See, Cameron, this guy's smart. Um, I keep relating the characters to myself, but I, I feel like sometimes I'm like Cameron, too. I can um, take a situation, a bad situation, and try to make it better. Or make it better to at least benefit me, and he does that. He says that um, Courtney kisses Cameron. <laughs> uh, well, he says that Courtney kissed him, and I think he did good with that. And Cameron got his first kiss before me. <laughs> I'm sharing too much personal information in this video. So they get captured by Ezekiel, and their relationship ends in one episode. That's like the quickest total drama relationship ever. And, um,. Zoe's in the corner while they're arguing, and she looks like an insane insane person in the corner. And I would go crazy being in there with them, too. And if they, have, if they did break up, I'm kind of wondering if Duncan will come back. You know, just to bring Duncan back and have Courtney and Duncan get back together, since this is going to be, like, the final season with these characters. And then they're like, well... Since the uh, last season got so many views, let's make some new characters. Ha 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 ha. We're so smart. And um, Mal pushes Cameron in a hole and leaves him there. And he does the epic whistling again. I love that whistling. They should just put that in every episode. And then Alejandro offers to help Cameron, a.k.a. the new Lightning, but he refuses. And this is definitely where he screwed up again. Um, there's no way I would have let myself fall. I would have stabbed my hands into the wall before I fall down a hole. And, I mean, if someone's offering you help, even if he does drop you, you could still hold onto the wall or something. I don't care if he asked for an alliance or something. I would have, um, ha had him save me. But he didn't, he didn't die or anything when he fell down the hole. He just, I think he fell into, like, a sewer. Yeah, he fell into a sewer, I believe. And then he runs into Gwen, and then they go free Chris, which results in Ezekiel shooting acid, because apparently he can do that now, and Cameron gets crushed under the rocks. So Gwen wins the challenge, and Alejandro, he's he was talking in, like, the, um, what was it? He got, in, like, in a cage, got captured by Ezekiel in part of the episode, and he should have just kept his mouth shut, but I guess no one trusted him anyway. He was kind of saying, he was kind of talking about, um, how Cameron uh, was stuck in a hole and he tried to help him. You know, you have everyone in the cage like, hmm, maybe he actually betrayed Cameron or something, or maybe he did something to Cameron when in fact it was Mal and no one suspects Mal. But Alejandro still has that CD or um, disc with all that information on it. So, like, when the time comes, he's going to take Mal down. It's kind of ironic how Cameron was called the Bubble Boy and that's how he leaves in a bubble. Um. And he was so scared of Mal. <laughs> I'm wondering if this Mal thing will be solved this season. But I, I guess so. And it looks like Mal and Alejandro are going at it in the next episode. So I'm guessing that's when the CD will be used. But thank you for watching my review, guys. And see you next time. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff's in the description. If you follow me on there, tell me.
because people are starting to follow me on Google Plus. I'm just saying right now, guys. I'm not gonna use that Google Plus page. Forget Google. <laughs> Forget Google. Later.